In this video, I want to show you how I make a lightweight, sturdy, hard pastel travel box that cost around uh, $180, and that includes all of the pastels in it. This is not the first box I've created. I've been using a version of this for about five years and found it to be versatile and very easy to carry around. Because it's made with different brands, I took to calling it my Franken box. The box fits perfectly into my 9x12 Peshad box by Gorilla Painter. When I combine the Franken box with a small set of Terry Ludwig pastels, I find I can pretty much paint anything. It's even become my go to box for the studio. But after lots of travel and much use, it's looking a little rough. So I decided to treat myself to a new box and share with you how I create it and how I personalize it. The 72 piece Holbein set will serve as the travel box, but the foam inserts that come with it are loose. I want to glue them to the inside of the top. So first I glue the largest piece of foam to cover the inside of the box top. Next, I lay a strip of foam core along the edge of the box of pastels and mark where the inserts should go. Then I lay that same foam core strip inside the box top and glue the inserts to the large piece of foam. The sturdy box, the foam, and a big rubber band is all I need to keep these pastels in place and safe. Now let's look at how to choose and organize the pastels for the box. The reason why I'm using this box is I love the Holbein pastels. They are absolutely beautiful, um, lots of grayed down shades, but a couple of things. They don't have a really wide value range and they're missing some really brilliant colors. So I'm going to remove then some colors that kind of duplicate each other. Uh, like for instance, um, this one to this one, and they're really close. I actually don't need them to be that close. Um, and then I'm going to add in some really nice ones here. This is the Faber-Castell set. This is um, their 72 piece set and it is, they, I actually buy this set for these three colors alone. These are my sunset colors. These are just like silly fluorescent poster colors and I use these for sunsets. I use these for portraits. Um, they're very handy and this set is around $30. So it's well worth it for me to get it to get those three colors, but I will also include some of these others here because it's a pretty nice set actually. I'm also including some new pastels. I have bottle green. I have a deep maroon. So this will be my very dark red. And I have this light yellow that there isn't anything in this box that is that type of a light yellow. So I'm going to use the new pastels and the Faber Castell to expand the value range of this box and also the saturation range because there is nothing in this box that is as silly bright as this color is. The way I want to arrange it then is I'm going to have my light tones up here, my middle tones here, and my dark tones here. So it's going to be arranged by value. I'm going to try and arrange it somewhat by color too with yellows, oranges, to reds, to purples, to blues, to greens, and try and do that with each value. Not sure if I'll be able to fit that in with the slots, but we'll see what happens. I'm also going to include this purple in Rembrandt. Uh, believe it or not, it fits these slots and this is just a great purple. I chose these brands of pastels because they will fit into the Holbein slots. Uh, the Faber Castells, you can see, fit very nicely right in there. So it makes it easy for me to do that. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start removing these pastels, but I'm going to remove them and keep them within similar values. So this will be a darker to there. They have a lot of middle tones. And I'm checking the values by holding one pastel up next to the other. Exact same value. In Holbein, I love this yellow green. This is a gorgeous yellow green. It's wonderful for uh, sunlight hitting on uh, grass or on trees. There's some other really great colors here too. This is the most beautiful purple-ish. Holbein has just some great ishy colors. Put that down there. Here are the pastels sorted by value. We can check that by putting them into black and white. Now that the pastels are out of the box, let's start filling it up. So I've pulled the Holbeins out and I've put them in according to value range. And so now what I'm going to do is start to use then what I have in here to make my values. All right, I'm gonna clean that dark out of there. All right, so first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually bring this one in here from New Pastel. And it's gonna be a little hard to do with my um, hurt hand, but it's going to break the pastel. Get the paper off. There we go. See how nicely that fits in the slot. Then I'm going to pick up this one. So it's next in value. And this one almost crosses to a green. I don't know. I'm gonna just stick that in there right now. And then you can see I go from yellow to orange to red to purple to blue to green. So I'm going to pick up then my lightest orange, which is going to be this. Then we're going to throw this one in because I got to have my sunset colors in my painting set. I went over to my other pastels and grabbed out then this little nub of Rembrandt here and also another new pastel that is a really nice blue heading towards yellow and I'm going to fit that in there and then fit this in here. So now I have my blues. I'm going to head back to then my greens and All right, so here then I'm going to start coming back in with some of these greens. Starting to go a little darker. Same value. Slightly darker than. Checking that blue green to those. Nope, it's different. I just want to make sure that they're different. That's going to help them serve their purpose. 
All right, so now, now we go back to here and we're gonna start again with our yellows. And now I'm gonna start with some yellow ishes. So this is a good yellow ish. Thing I forgot, forgot to put my sunset color in. Silly me. See, these are the exact same value. That's why they are so pretty. So I'm going to set my sunset color in there. And then, let's see. I'm going to sacrifice one of these for this value. You know what? I will move this one down into here and this into here and that works much better. Actually, this is where the purple comes in. That one's going to sit right there. So now we are down to where the yellows they really don't look yellow, but this pastel has yellow in it. Um, it's about as dark as something that you would call yellow can get. So I'm going to put that there. To make some choices, this is a little darker, still has the yellow-ish influence in it. So I'm just looking to see I don't want to replicate too much. Matter of fact, kind of while I'm here, like I know this one, this is a really dark red purple. It's a really dark red purple, so that's going to go somewhere there. This is our bottle green, so this is going to go somewhere here, whereas we're going to have a lovely black right here. So the extremes are always really easy. It's putting them in the middle that gets a little bit more complicated. And there you go. There is my painting set. All I have to do now is just put the top on it. Use a giant rubber band. So I'm going to set that here and know that I have a nice travel set of pastels all ready to go. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. If you would like more in-depth lessons, please visit my Patreon site, The Painter's Classroom, where for $5 a month you get lessons in the form of videos, blogs, and handouts, plus you get your painting questions answered. See you there!